Yo, this is Alex Bond for Destiny and I welcome you to the most insane full body workout I've ever uploaded. So you're going to be seeing weights that few naturals ever perform in their entire lives. And this is meant to inspire you, to show you that as a drug free lifter, you can get big, you can get strong, you just have to use the right movements. So as you can see, I begin with some rack pulls above the knee. It's approximately 6 to 8 inches of range of motion. So it's not really to build your deadlift because there's no specificity of training. The main objective of this is to overload the upper back and traps. Uh, and thicken the tendons and ligaments. So this will keep you injury free and it's gonna make you strong as hell and jacked as hell in the enhanced muscles. And that's why I do this. So I'm warming up. Remember, I always, I made a promise to you guys that I wanna do a thousand pounds, right? And uh, guess what? That's what you're about to see. A thousand pound rack pull above the knee. Who the hell does that? This is beltless at 180 pounds while recomping, okay? So look at that. Man, what a beautiful rep. And look, I'm holding at the top. You can see how my back is shaking. When I did this exercise, I was so freaking happy, man. And uh, my traps were pulling. I felt every muscle in my entire body. And yeah, I understand. It's only six inches of range of motion, but where's your clips of doing it? You know, for real, this is not an easy thing to do. At 180, beltless, I rarely see anybody do that. So rack pull above the knee is by far my favorite overloading exercise of all time. And I highly recommend you give it a shot. So that's over. Let's break down the one arm Z press, shall we? Which is another special exercise my man Phil Long showed me. He showed me all kinds of crazy moves. So this is a lot harder than the standing version or even sitting down on a bench. Uh, the Z press, it'll, if you do it like this, it's going to work your obliques a lot more than the standard version. Uh, because of stabilization. And it's just a lot harder to lock out weights. And you get the upper back benefits as well. So my best one arm dumbbell press was 95 pounds on my right arm. I couldn't do it on the left. And now I'm reduced to 85 doing the Z press style. So you lose about 10 pounds if you do it in this way. And if you want an even harder variation, then you could attach some fat grips to the bar, uh, to the dumbbell, and it'll be even more difficult. So this is my ultimate exercise for you. Very, very good, very underrated at the same time. I highly recommend you give Z press a shot. This is how you get a strong overhead press, how you get a strong upper back, shoulders, etc. So now you're gonna see me move on to the peak set. So let's look at it together, guys. 85 pounds, baby, please. See, on my right side, it's a lot easier. I probably could have done 90, to be honest with you. Uh, the left side is where it was hard because you feel your obliques. You feel your fucking obliques. It seems like I have a weakness. I have a little imbalance. I got to start correcting it. So I'm going to be doing a lot more oblique work from now on. So that's the one-arm Z-press. Next exercise. This is where things get more intense. Remember, I already did the 1,000-pound rack pull. I should be drained. But like I said, I have high work capacity from doing full-body workouts and having the volume day and the intensity day. So I'm doing some one-arm T-bar rows. You probably never saw these before. Right now, I'm beginning with strict form, right? Basically, the bar on the side. But as the weight gets more heavy, I'll be shoving my feet in the middle, like a, in a split stance, okay? It's very important to do this. So this is two plates. See, I've always been limited with my gym. The gym, it only has 140-pound dumbbells. You can't do fuck all with that. You can't roll with that. It's not enough weight. So I've been doing all kinds of variations besides this. So I'm happy that I could do unilateral work once again, and the one-arm T-bar row is the perfect exercise for that. So after, this is four and a half plates. Uh, I've never gone this heavy before. My max was four, but I decided to push to the limit. Like I said, after doing a thousand pounds, nothing could phase you after that. Everything feels light in your hands. Your tendons and ligaments are getting stronger. I strongly believe that rack pulls above the knee will make you a better lifter. It's unlocking your true potential. So this is five plates. Guys, come on, this is five plates, man. A lot of people can't even do this with two arms. I'm doing this one arm at a time. I don't see too many naturals doing this and I don't have any lower back pain. Now all I feel is the upper back. And for those who are going to say, well, why don't you do it strict? Come on, get the fuck out of here with that shit. I don't do strict rows. I think they're overrated. They don't work. And I used to do that. I didn't get my results. But now that I'm doing it the way that I talk about, the way I recommend, cheat rows, I'm making all kinds of gains, the hard ones to say. So that's five and a half plates, baby, please. That's crazy, man. One arm. That will make your upper back sore as a motherfucker. It doesn't have to be strict. It doesn't have to be a little strict uh, dumbbell row, okay? Just go heavy as hell. This is how you build a big upper back and traps. Next up, we got 90 pound dip machine. This is just a warm up, of course. And uh, this goes to show you how strong I am at dips. I'm actually, uh, I seem to be gifted in terms of anthropometry for the dip. And also keep in mind, I have a lot of years of calisthenics experience and I never lost the strength for them. So this is 270 pounds, like what the fuck? I've not done a horizontal press in months. So this is 270 and it gets even better. I'm gonna show you the peak set. 320. I actually I had to show you the weight in case you guys don't believe me. So 320 pound dips at 180 body weight. It's fucked up. This is like benching a lot of weight, you know? And I find this exercise, because of the movement pattern, I find it carries over to your bench. Just saying. 
So that's dips, great for the shoulders, chest, and triceps. And I like the machine version because you don't feel any shoulder pain. Uh, it's really good, I like it a lot. So give this a shot if you're tired of doing overhead press all the time. And then uh, finally, well not finally, but we got some reverse hypers. You know I gotta do it, it's my exercise of choice. Uh, you know, I never get sore in my lower back and abs, even though I go bellless. You saw the rack pull. I don't have any soreness right now as I'm talking. I, I don't have any soreness. The only thing I'm experiencing is a lot of trap and upper back pain. But the lower back is always fine. That's because I train it two to four times a week. So it's a very, it's very, very important they do lower back and abs. All right. So now I'm going to show you some standing cable crunches because I do that a lot too. I do it because it's specific for the squat and deadlift. You want to mimic exercises that you know if you're standing up you want to be doing a standing if you want to improve your uh, your oblique strength and you're doing a standing exercise well that's what you want to do a standing exercise and what sucked about this is the floor was fucking wet bro they wet the floor they, it was wet uh water all over the place okay obviously water is fucking wet and uh my feet were slipping like crazy man so i was limited in how many reps i could do so i only got 15 probably could have done more if I, the floor wasn't wet but uh this is what you got to do man if you want strong abs, abs of steel. And then finally, I end off with an exercise I learned from Brian Shaw. He actually does these with a 40-pound dumbbell, which is fucking insane. Uh, the max I could, first of all, the max I could even lift off the floor is a 35, okay? Uh, my hand does not even fit on the 40-pound hex dumbbell. If I want to make it heavier, all I got to do is attach chains or attach bands. And this way, I could actually hold on to it because I have puny hands. So I, I like doing these with around 20 pounds. This is only 15 because it was a really good workout, but... That's it for today. This is my best workout to date. I did it without barely sleeping. I, I didn't even want to go to the gym today, man. But I said, fuck it. Let's push it to the limit. And this is what you saw. Full body workout, maximum intensity. No excuses, guys. Let's get it done.